no will, no life. Why is the daughter of engines full? I'm going to go to Afghanistan just to piss you off that. What kind of a... Who comes up with that? No, she has nothing against going to Afghanistan and climb a mountain. What the... Just do it. Big deal. That's not the point. The point is that the daughter just doesn't understand anything. Doing it because she wants to live in relation to I win and you lose. So I do this in order, you know, I am someone because I can poke you. And that's what you do. You only want to be here in separation. Poke Princess Silke. Oh yeah, I heard her. I poked her. I didn't recognize her overtly. Yay. I threw up on her. Yay. I am someone now because I'm even in the negative. Do you think you're good? Even in the negative. You got your, your, your bits and pieces of materialistic box attention, you thought? Just showing how you're not up for life, oh God. Ever will be. Never ever will be. So the daughter wants to go to wherever. Climb a mountain in, 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 in the poor world, in the fourth, in the fourth world. Not even the third, the fourth world. To deliberately hurt her dad? Not because she wants to explore anything it's not about it's just because she's so poor inside that's the only thing she can think about is i'm going to be someone by hurting someone else oh and the lad well whatever psycho approach he has in the movie which is otherwise why a movie would not be maybe would be impossible to depict it or get anyone's attention because you don't know you're like what is going on what's going to happen you don't know when you watch the movie <gasps> what, what, what will happen next the lad he wanted of course you need to have a relation to others but not to exploit them that wasn't his thought in the beginning you think oh just another movie you know, he's going to rob them and they look away or blah blah and steal their artwork no he didn't wish to take anything away but get attention by giving. Look at me, how I give to you, and so we connect. And that is true God as well. By educating himself first. By deliberately choosing to educate himself. So Princess Zilke, I, I, uh, I read a lot since I was a young child because I liked reading. Also because I was very lonely and I wished new worlds, different worlds, better worlds, other worlds. I was exploring. I read everything I could get my hands on. I would take out to read, I don't know, a book a day sometimes when I was younger because books were not that big, I guess. And holidays I read, on weekends I read. I was read and read and read all alone. But education, then when I was a teen, I heard, yeah, I got to read the classics. So I thought, yeah, I got to read the classics. But it's enthusiastic to me. I'm enthusiastic. Now, had I clue that I wrote them? So I read them. I read the French literature, all the French literature. Why? Because within these words, there are worlds. And there are worlds of understanding what God and life is all about. Inherently, not preaching. Not preaching nonsense. No. Can really see what it means. What does it mean? I don't want to name things because the obnoxiousness of the English society. You think, oh, he's so cute and they are so dumb because the only thing they do is knitting and crouching. Or the other one in France, she's a whore. You know, no, because she wants to explore life in a different way. Now, you question what's going on there. And by questioning, you actually make choices. No, in my world, it's that simple. I feel what's right and what's wrong. And in yours... I just look at it and feel like it. I see maybe things I never knew. Nobody else understands. Well, John, he made the movies. And I made the movies. But for you to look at it and questioning it, it's actually approaching and coming nearer to God, which is probably absolutely useless because you have no will and no wish. So as you suffer, you complain. You don't want to move forward. And as we give you all the wishes, so far we can... You complain too. 
And if you're not hurting, then you kind of start hurting others because that's the only thing you can ever do. And here's another thing. For, for him, someone in my past flowers, the only meaning that I had was to make up for his mistakes. So he gave him only when when he wanted something from me. In the beginning to get my attention so I would move in with him. And then the only moment he gave me flowers was, oh, I'm sorry, you know, because he had messed up to get me back. That's a negative approach. And even when he made reservations for anniversaries, he didn't, he didn't do it to give me. No, he looked at me and then like a little child, I mean, the man was over 40. Look, I made a reservation, like, give me approval, give me approval. I'm being a good dog, good dog, good dog, good dog, good dog, good dog. Look at me, good dog, good dog. <gasps> he did it just to get my approval. But he happened to enjoy as well good food and get restaurants, and yes... He never gave me the ring I wanted to safety. <laughs> That's why he was empty with me. Then sucking up to the next, to the next, whatever that was, job. I even in the worst of my jobs, I didn't really want it to do because I hate to be in sales. I did the best out of it. It's the way you relate. And that is an intellectual proposal of what the guy, the lad in the movie talks about imagination. It's how we explore ourselves. It's how we relate to things in life. Know that you are able to relate, even on camera. The only thing you ever do is, well, there she comes and I'm going to put the book on her. Whatever that is you're told to do, which you choose to do, because we cannot ask you to do things you don't want to. I'm just going to throw my vomit on her. That's not relating, that's using and abusing. Approaching life with, with, with contempt about another, that's death. Looking at things from a, see, can you not see it? Maybe you can't. Maybe you're just not up for life. Can you not see how, how obnoxious you are, how mean, how dumb, how stupid, and how asphyxiating it is? You don't interact, you don't relate, you just use Princess Zulka. Trampling down everything that's good in life. Huh. You'll never get it, don't you? You'll never get it. And for most, it's just like, now I'm able to say something. Before I was just a dummy and a nothing. Well, the dummy and the nothing never changes. Because now they can overtly fart and hurt God. And that's their strength now. Before they were not allowed, ducking down. That's nothing. So when I inside truly enjoy the proposal of this movie and I say, that's like Bundyolesk. Someone who has education can smile with me. Because they understand what I mean by Bundyolesk, Viridiana. Inherent to, and that's maybe as well, I mean, this is a Bundyolesk movie and what does it even mean, right? You don't know what it means. Well, it has to do with Luis Buñuel, a filmmaker, so to speak. I mean, a true film called Viridiana, which talks about the obnoxiousness of the boxing society, rich society, wealthy society, hold on to. That's also Kafkaesque. Intellectuals use very much, and often that's Kafkaesque. What does that mean? I that never really got it, I suppose. Kafka, who talked about, you know, how someone, a bureaucrat, 
wakes up and he actually realizes what an obnoxious asshole he is. And now he wants nobody to see that. That's the true meaning of metamorphosis. And maybe that's what you do. Do you realize what an asshole you are? But you don't wish to do anything about it and that's why you're so dead. You just suck up to another ass. You want to lick another dick in another set of box rules in your mind. You don't get it because you never wish to look at God. You never wish to look at your president. You never wish to look at Princess Silke. You don't look. You have no attention. There is no life.